guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are, surprise, building another tiny house and I hope at least the majority of you guys are not tired of them just yet, but I was really inspired to build sort of like a tiny mountain retreat or something. I don't know if you'd call it that. But it's basically, so we're building in Granite Falls on a 40 by 30, by the way, because I wanted to go a little bit crazy with the landscaping, just, just a little bit, so not overly crazy. You'll see that in just, yeah, a few minutes or something. So, um, yeah, and then I wanted to build a house that is half on a hill, but also half on stilts. I don't know if that's making any sense, but you probably saw it in the thumbnail at the start of the video. So hopefully you guys get what I mean anyways and just make it a super simple house not too crazy or anything like that i knew that because of the platform as well that i was gonna run out of tiles pretty quickly because we do have the requirements because of tiny living so this house is technically not a tiny house but i think the house shape itself would actually count as a tiny house but because of the terrace outside and also because of the roofing it's actually more than 70 tiles at the end i think but i couldn't do the roofing the way that i wanted to do it unless i added some extra tiles so that is just how it is so therefore it ended up being a little bit more than the uh the tile count that i was going for but that is just how that is so not a micro home today but the house itself like i said is actually a tiny house it's just because of the platform, the terrace outside, and also because of the roofing, it doesn't actually count as a tiny house. It kind of sucks that it has to be like that just a little bit. Like, I'll admit that. It's a little limiting that you can't just count the interior tiles, that it has to count the exterior tiles as well. Especially roofing, because that's just... Your sims don't actually use the roof to live on. So, unless they want to, like, no judgment. Um, but yeah, so that is what we're doing today. We're building this sort of tiny mountain retreat house, I don't really know. I think that's what I'm gonna end up calling it, but I'm not fully set on it just yet, so I don't really know. Anyways, moving on. This is not a pack restricted build either. I am not using CEC and I'm not using any mods either, I don't think. All the cheats that I'm using are in the description. It's just every time I do a house, I always get questions about CC, I get questions about cheats, and I get questions like, what mods are you using to build? I don't use any mods to build, I just use the cheats that are provided to us. <laughs> so it's basically just, you know, you can build this with whatever you have in the game, basically. You do need a certain amount of packs for this build though, because I didn't really restrict myself. I've not really been motivated to do any pack restricted builds lately, and I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for more base game houses. When it comes to base game houses, it's just, it's something that I need to want to build because otherwise it's not going to turn out good and I don't want to build something that I'm not happy with either, so, because that would suck. <laughs> so it's something that I have to be motivated to do before I do it, but I do have base game houses up on the channel, so you can always just either do a Google search and search for Avalyn base game house or you can actually search here on YouTube as well and there should be a couple of speed builds up on the channel. I think the last one that I did was probably a long time ago, <laughs> but there's at least a couple up on the channel, at least like four, I think. So there should be some to choose from if you only have base game or if you have very few packs as well, it's probably easier to download those builds as well. But And then just add whatever you have from the packs that you do have to the house. Does that make any sense? But yeah, it's just, I just want to say that it's something that I need to be motivated to build before I do it. Otherwise, it's just not going to turn out good and none of you will like it anyways. And I'll hate doing it as well. So just, just so you know. But anyways, we're doing the landscaping first with this house because actually I did cut some of the landscaping out because it was getting a little bit repetitive. But because I had a sort of vision of what I wanted the house to look like from the exterior, I decided to just do at least the vast majority of the exterior before I move down to the interior. We do add a couple of details and also some debug items at the end of the video to the exterior, but other than that, I think... Actually, no, I do go back at the end of the video as well and change the wallpaper, I think, because I felt like this one was just... 
This combination was, it was nice, but it was just a little bit too plain. So I went back and I actually think I ended up with a mix of outdoor retreat, wallpaper and also island living. And I don't remember what the last one is. It might um, actually have been base game or something, but it was just, this combination was just looking a little too, like on the main, the biggest part of the house, I didn't like that wallpaper. It blended in too much with the trees or something. So I had to change it with the outdoor retreat one. I definitely like the last wallpaper combination a lot better compared to this one. So I also at some point tried to change the wall, or not the walls, uh, what's it called? The window colors as well, the frames, to brown because I thought that would kind of make sense for a mountain retreat to be sort of like cottage. But again, it was just not working out. Plus I really wanted that windows to sort of stand out as well. I don't really know. My train of thought yesterday was really strange when building this house and I don't have a proper reason for the choices that I've made but at least the house turned out sort of fine in the end so I hope you guys will like it though and also sorry I know that this voiceover is going really well but I'm just really tired. I think I'm actually gonna do a tutorial for tomorrow about the OMSP shelf because I do realize that I've done a tutorial about cluttering in the past and I actually used that shelf in the video for the tutorial, but I've not really done a proper tutorial on exactly what you can do with the shelf, so I might do that for tomorrow. I might wait until tomorrow after I've had some sleep to record it, but I think that's what I'm gonna do for tomorrow, so let me know if you think that's a good idea and I'll definitely have a look at it. I keep getting questions about that shelf also every single video, so I figure there must be some people out there, some of you who are new to the channel and have not seen it before. Maybe you're new to The Sims overall and you've not really seen it before. Or maybe you followed builders that don't use the shelf. I don't know what builders use the shelf so because I don't watch speed builds. So I just, I don't know. Um, I imagine everyone uses it by now, but I could be wrong about that. So I might do that for tomorrow. Let me know what you think and I will definitely have a look at it. Also, if there's anything else you want me to do a tutorial on, if there's anything you see me do in this video that you're not really sure like what the heck is going on there, what is she doing, it's probably because I'm weird or it could be some kind of trick that you're not really sure of So or you didn't really know. So let me know in the comment section and I will either answer you there or I'll say, hey, I can do a tutorial on this and I'll put it in my notebook, so let me know. I do realize that I've been talking about this, the tutorials for the past like five videos or so, but not all people, like some of you watch every single video that I do, but the vast majority of you don't. So for those of you who do watch every single video, first of all, thank you. But it's just, I keep repeating myself because there are always new viewers and if they're not fully aware of the whole like me wanting to tutorial and stuff, tutorials, plural, um, they, they know now. So yeah, that's basically it. Also those things that I put on the wall right there, this is when I changed the wallpaper by the way. I thought I did it at the very end of the video, but apparently not. We, we're doing it now. So those things that I put on the wall right there, I swear, I thought they were from Dino. For some reason I was like 100% sure they were from Dino, but they're actually from Perfect Patio. I put them there because it kind of looks like logs, like the house is actually made out of logs, but it also doesn't, it's just decor. <laughs> I wish we had proper, like, proper items so, so we could make it look like the house is actually made out of logs and not just wallpaper that's on the walls, you get what I mean? Like add some kind of texture to it or something. That would be awesome. Like that would look great, but we don't have that right now. At least not as far as I remember. So maybe in the future at some point, I don't think so, but it would be pretty freaking cool. I tweeted the other day just for fun because I love plants. If you follow me on Instagram or if you're on Discord, if you're on my Discord server, there's a link to the Discord server in the description down below, by the way, if you're not aware of it, but if you're either on the Discord server or you follow me on Instagram, if you see my stories, I love plants. I don't have a whole lot, but considering I got my first plant in September or October, I feel like I've gotten a fair amount since then. So right now I'm waiting for 
my mini banana palm to sprout a new leaf which is pretty exciting because it's the first time that's happening so <laughs> i'm like yay check it up on her every single day but anyways i tweeted for fun that i really want a plant stuff pack and for some reason that tweet kind of went a little crazy apparently a lot of people really want a plants stuff pack and i don't blame you because yes we want more plants whether it's for indoors use or outdoors use i just want more plants i want more like a bigger variation of plants so that is something that i just love to see in the game <laughs> just more plants like a lot of plants so yeah, let me know if there is any sort of like specific stuff pack that you would love to see in The Sims 4, let me know in the comment section because for me it's definitely plants or clutter, but you could also get a little bit more specific than just that. Like what kind of specific clutter do you want to see more of, you know? Let me know because I'd love to read that. And anyways, as you can see, we've moved on to the interior. Now, I didn't really know what kind of style I wanted to go for. I don't think we're going for just one specific kind of style, but I did definitely use a fair amount of modern items, especially here in the living room. I used a lot of the stuff from Tiny Living, but I did try to match it with some other stuff. And so we're using this bed right here, which is from Seasons, I think. But both the bedside table, there is a another side table over in one of the corners where I actually ended up putting the TV. And I think the couch and also the dresser are also from Tiny Living. And also I used the poof chair, or it's not a chair, it's a table, but it looks like a chair. I used that one because I love it so freaking much. So that's on the other side of the bed. So we're using a fair amount of modern items in here, mid-century modern items, but it's not like overly modern, this interior, at least I don't think so, but I could be mistaken because I'm not, an expert so but also the kitchen is a little bit more i want to say like the cabinets and the counters are very rustic in a way and then i suppose the dining chairs and the table could be a little bit more modern too but i'm not really sure about that one to be honest but um yeah my point was i'm not going for a specific style in this house i just wanted it to be cozy a little bit brown with a little bit of yellow and blue and just overall, cozy was my the, the vibe that I was going for. Does that make sense? Because I didn't necessarily want this house to be a home. You could use it as a home. So you could put it in, for example, Windenburg in the forest area. Because there's a 40 by 30 in that area where I think this house would actually look like decent at least. <laughs> so you could put it there and then use it as a home. But you could also just put it here in Granite Falls and then use it as a retreat. So if your Sims are living very stressful lives, they work a lot, maybe one is a scientist and the other one is a doctor or something, and they just have to get away from the busy work-life schedule or something for a little bit, they can go to this house. They don't have a computer here. There is a very small TV over in the corner, but that's basically about it for electronics. So they just have no access to the to, to life other <laughs> like outside of Granite Falls basically. So it's basic yeah, it's it's a place where your sons can go and just relax, like full on relax, except it's not a spa, it's just it's a retreat in the mountains with a lack of electronics. You could though place a laptop on the dining table if you want to. So if you want to use this as a home and you insist that your sims need a laptop or a computer you could just place it on the dining table actually i think i might have put an ipad or not an ipad sorry a tablet next to the bed too because i felt like they were missing something but my point was if you want to use this house as a home and you feel like your sims need a computer of any kind you can just place one of the base game ones on the dining table and then have your sims carry it around in their inventory when they're not using it because that is possible. And if you have the base game, you have at least one uh, laptop. Yes, one laptop. So I think, or is it two? No, it's one. Because we got one with a freelance update a cup or a year ago or something. I don't really know. So if you play the game, if you have the base game, you should have a laptop is my point. Anyways, I've been talking about electronics and being tired this entire video. And I'm really sorry about that. Here at the end of the uh, the speed build, I placed some lights around the pool pond. It's not a pool, it's a pond, because I felt like I was just missing some details outside. I actually finished recording at this point, and then I 
wanted to take screenshots, but I was looking at this house like, there's just, yeah, there's something missing. So I placed the lights around the pond and then I went into the debug catalog or the world objects catalog and I found a couple of items that I thought would be fun, like the fish rack or whatever you call that. And I put it over by the pond so it kind of looked like they, they were fishing in the pond. And then I also put this clothing rack over here, which is, that's not a clothing rack, a clothesline from Island Living Teapuck as well. And I found these plants that fit perfectly on top of the roof. So I was like, yes, let's make this a little bit more nature-y, put these plants on top of the roof. And they're kind of hanging down on both sides. So that's why I'm like, they fit perfect, like perfectly. I just, I had to use them. And I think that's about it actually. I put some plant pots there too, so yeah, I think that is the end. So if you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. I promise I'll get a little bit more sleep before the next voiceover because this was one big mess. And anyways, hopefully some of you guys laughed just a little bit at my tired self. And if not, then I am sorry, but yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me